Welcome to the Mindset Mile podcast, the show that'll leave you empowered to take action towards becoming the turned up version of your already awesome self. I'm your host, Aisha Zaza, and I'm so glad you're here. Let's go. Hello, team. Welcome back to the show. If you're like me, 2024 didn't exactly start until today. (laughs) My daughter didn't start school until last Wednesday, which was the third. And that was after a two and a half week break. And I had really an ambitious amount of hopes for what I would get done in the remaining part of the week after she went back to school. And of course, on Wednesday, I started to feel like my body was fighting something off. And because of that, I was sleeping really, really poorly. I just woke up with like kind of some body aches. And one night it was raining and the rain was so loud, so loud. It woke me up. And then the next night it was super windy. So that woke me. And it was just this snowball effect of things that were conspiring against me to run at the speed that I wanted to after having some childcare relief, at least with one of my kids. But instead of being upset about it and feeling bad about taking some time to just rest and decompress, I let go of my expectations of what I wanted to get done. And I realized that the most productive I could be in those couple days was to just rest and get well so that I could start this week out fresh and full of energy. Whereas I've had the tendency to get really upset when things do not work out as I planned, even if the things that keep me from doing what I want to do are out of my control like this, it still can be really frustrating when you're working with limited time and you know you have ideas of how you want your days to look and how you want to feel. So anyways, I just wanted to say that because maybe you're in a similar boat where the new year didn't start out the way that you had hoped. So I just want to encourage you to let go of your frustration about it. There is nothing that you or we can do differently except start now where we're at. So don't be discouraged. There's absolutely no pressure coming from anyone or anything but yourself And just remember that a new year doesn't mean a whole lot. It doesn't mean that it's a new you, your habits and your mindset do. So I personally have five things I am incorporating and doing differently and or doing differently, I should say, to start off this year. And I thought it would be really helpful to share them with you just to give you a frame of reference for what we're going to be talking about today with getting organized so that you actually reach the goals that you set. So my five things are dry January and likely far beyond tracking macros for 12 weeks, starting back up with some therapy, adding yoga back into my routine one time a week. And I'll also be exploring childcare options to help with the baby who is now 13 months old, three times per week for a few hours at a time. So some of these things have required more organization than others, but getting organized before you start out on executing a new goal, it's truly instrumental in your likelihood of actually sticking with the new habit and reaching the end goal. Goals themselves sound very sexy. And generally speaking, it's very fun and motivating to talk about goals because even when other people's goals have absolutely nothing to do with you and what you may want to do, Being surrounded by people and the talk of goals that have drive and ambition, it's contagious and it's inspiring. But where most people fail in ensuring the follow through of their goals is in the preparation before starting them. So in high school, I had a basketball coach that always preached that if you were early to practice, you were on time. And if you were on time, you were late. And that's kind of how I like to look at starting new habits and working towards new goals that you set for yourself. So in this, in this case, you can't just show up on time and on time being January one and start blindly executing. Okay. You can, but it's going to likely be that you feel like you're floundering. You really do have to show up early for your goals And what that means is 
you really wanted to start at the end of last year, the planning and pre- preparation that it was going to take so that when you do start on January 1, if you did, you were set up for success. And there's another quote I have saved that says, you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. And that is so true. So, so true. So this is now where I want to circle back to the one of the changes that I'm making this year to give you an example of setting up a system before getting started with making a change and working towards this goal. So I mentioned that I'm tracking macros for at least 12 weeks. So I really love macros because it teaches you so much about food and what you should eat to fuel your body so that you can perform at the level that you want and also get the aesthetic outcome that you want. It's basically like an allowance of how you need to be spending your macronutrients in terms of fats, proteins, and carbs. And so how I made this super, super simple on myself was that I I got the numbers from my macro coach to, um, that I needed to sort out my day in terms of food. Right. And what I did was I said, okay, if I'm making this as easy as I possibly can, which is eating three meals per day, I'm going to break the macros in thirds. Right. So let's just say it meant 40 grams of protein per meal. Perfect. I'm going to input in my app a protein that I would typically use until I get 40 grams of protein. And then I'm going to choose a carb and I'm going to divide my carbs in thirds so that I'm spending a third of them at breakfast, a third of them at lunch, and a third of them at dinner. And I picked a carb source and I put that in until I got a third of my macronutrient total, right? And I did the same thing with fats. So then I looked at that and I said, okay, this feels kind of like a lot of food all at one sitting. So what is a snack or a small meal that I could have in between that is a very simple meal to track? And let me see what those macronutrients are. And so I would add, let's say an apple or a half an apple or a a protein shake, right? And then it was really easy to just deduct the amount of fat, protein, and carbs that were in that protein shake or protein bar, from my other three meals so that I was breaking my macros up very simply, but like in, by providing another meal basically for myself in between these bigger meals. I'll be honest. I'm a skeptic when it comes to food packaging and marketing. I don't consider myself an expert in toxic products or ingredient, but I do appreciate being an informed consumer and not falling for every brand or food that markets themselves as a health food or a better product, yet is still packed with toxic or harmful ingredients. That's why when I do find a good product or brand, I stick with it. And this goes for my multivitamin from Ritual. With fewer hours of daylight, it's extra important to pay attention to vitamin D. And Ritual's essential multivitamin for women 18 and up was shown to increase vitamin D levels by 43% in a clinical study. I also appreciate that Ritual uses high quality and traceable key ingredients in clean bioavailable forms. No more shady business. Ritual's essential for women 18 and up is a multivitamin you can actually trust. Get 40% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com backslash mindset mile. This offer is only available through January 31st. Start ritual or add essential for women 18 and up to your subscription today. That's ritual.com backslash mindset mile for 40% off. This episode is brought to you by better help. I love the universal sense of a fresh start to a new year. But around New Year's, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just expanding on what we're already doing right. I like taking the approach of habit stacking, building upon areas you're already doing really well in. That's one thing I love about therapy. It helps you find your strengths so that you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. Therapy is really helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself, and I am all about that. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. They take the legwork out of finding the perfect therapist by matching you based on your needs. And you can change therapists at any time. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash mindset mile today and get 10% off your first month. 
That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Mindset Mile. You're up for any challenge that comes your way. The Defender 110 is too. The iconic vehicle has been reimagined for 21st century adventure, and its unparalleled off-road ability, as well as its robust interior, are invaluable whether you're headed towards uncharted territory or just a weekend of exploration. The Defender 110 tackles challenging surroundings with absolute confidence. The SUV conveys strength outside and in, featuring peerless technology like an intuitive drive display and an award-winning infotainment system to keep you connected no matter where the journey takes you. Adventure is unique to everyone, and so is the Defender. Choose from the two-door Defender 90, the four-door Defender 110, or the larger Defender 130 with the ability to seat up to eight passengers. You'll find uncompromising performance in all three. Pack up and go even further with the Defender 110. Learn more at LandRoverUSA.com forward slash Defender. You may already know this about me, but I love making my bed every day. It starts my day off with a sense of accomplishment, but I also love slipping into a beautifully made bed every night. And my cozy earth bamboo sheets make all the difference. They are so unbelievably soft and comfortable, and the premium fabric regulates body temperature no matter the season. Cozy Earth provided an exclusive offer just for my listeners. You could receive up to 40% off site-wide when you use code MINDSETMILE. Go to CozyEarth.com to explore their latest arrivals and to receive up to 40% off when you use code MINDSETMILE at checkout. What I did was I did it all basically before I started. I did like mock days of these are foods I typically eat. These are foods I typically prepare for my family. I took a lot of meals from my guide well prepped. I put them into my fitness pal. I got the macronutrients and I was like, boom, boom, boom. I plugged it all in before I actually got started because how, how starting on time right? Like if I started January one without doing this, being prepared, I would be totally floundering, like tracking as I went and just kind of hoping and figuring that I could get the rest of my macros in, you know, with my next meal of the day. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to track as I went. I wanted to know exactly what I was going to be eating let's just say like five days at a time. Like I'm just going to be repeating my meals for five days and then I'm going to switch and I'm going to plug in the next day that I had prepared in my fitness pal. So I'm making it super mindless, super easy. I'm not having to spend a bunch of time on my phone tracking everything as I'm eating it or as I'm preparing it. It's just laid out for me already, right? So that is the preparation that I put into getting started before I actually got started with tracking macros. So my start date for my official date for starting tracking macros was January 5th, not January 1st. It was not realistic for me to start January 1st because I didn't have the time that I needed before January 1st to prepare because I had both my kids, because my husband was working, because, because, because there were all these things. So I was realistic with myself, but this is where it doesn't really matter when you start January 1st is an arbitrary date. Okay. Just as long as you, whenever you decide to get started with something new throughout the year, It doesn't matter when you start. It just matters that you are prepared before you actually get started. This is going to ensure your success and your ability to actually stick with these new habits. So I know that counting macros may not be what you are doing this year, but I want to ask you, have you done the preparation to start your goal outright? Have you scheduled it into your days or into your weeks so that the tasks needed to move you closer to it are non-negotiable? They are literal appointments in your schedule. I want to remind you that anything new is going to be more challenging in the front end. It's going to feel hard to incorporate, but just because something is hard does not mean that you shouldn't do it. You will become better at it. The more that you do it, embrace the learning curve where in the beginning, it is always the hardest. So if you're someone that is floundering a little because you were not set up to start your new habits or your new goal out prepared, I want you to backtrack a little bit. 
I want you to forget about the first week of this year. Okay. And I want you to start fresh right now. What can you do to prepare yourself for your goals? Take a day. Maybe, maybe it doesn't even take a day. Maybe it takes an hour. Spend however much time you need getting ready to set yourself up for your goals so that it is as mindless as absolutely possible. So that all you have to do now or when you start is show up and execute. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. (laughs) Okay. Those are the six P's. I don't know where I learned them, but that's always something that has stuck with me over the years. Okay. So the six P's is how you want to start off your goal. So give yourself some grace. If you do not feel prepared and you're beating yourself up because you're floundering this year already, take a step backwards. You're not too late. You didn't mess anything up. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Okay. Set yourself up by preparing and pick a new start date. It is okay. I hope that this episode spoke to you. If it did, please tag me on social media at Aisha Zaza. I am so excited for this year with you, my friend. I cannot wait to see you next week. And until then, make it a great day.